collect designer handbags, but I collect designer wetsuits. Behind me are 23 custom handmade wetsuits from Jonesy that make up my surf suit collection. And if you've been following me on social media over the years, I'm sure you'll recognize quite a few of these, but some of them are brand new. What's so special about Jonesy as a brand is that Shane, who is the designer and founder and pretty much every role behind Jonesy, is such an insanely talented surfer that he obviously understands the practical needs of a wetsuit, but his eye for design is so special and unique that every suit that he makes will stand out in the water and fits you like a glove. And since every single one of the suits that he ever makes is made from his bare two hands, each suit is such a passion project and he can literally make anything. I think his most famous wetsuits are the ones that he does for Halloween every year. They are iconic. But anyway, I wanted to share with you guys my personal wetsuit collection. So let's get into it. Okay, we are starting off with a new addition to my collection. This is the Yamamoto Razo in olive green, and it has the newly updated super minimal Jonesy logo here. Obviously this suit is meant for warmer water because there's not much coverage in the arms or legs. This is the Razo and Cheetah with the limestone based material. And since it does attract quite a lot of attention in the water, I have to make sure that I'm surfing my best if I choose to wear this one. The so next up is an older design of the Razo. It has the classic patch logo here. And I really like this one because it feels a little bit more vintage. It has a lower cut here and a bit fuller of the bottom. So it's more like a boy short look instead of like a cheeky bottom. And it's designed in a way to kind of slim you down little visual effect. Next up is another version of that older Razo design. This time it's in this really bright blue and it has the black color blocking on the sides. Once again, it gives that slimming illusion. And same cut as before, really cute little vintage boy short silhouette. Next up is the Bermuda style spring suit. It's really similar to the LA Cheeky style with the cut down here, but this one's different because this one has a short sleeve cut, kind of like a cute little t-shirt. This one gives you really great arm mobility when you're paddling because there's less fabric, but it does keep your shoulders nice and protected from the sun. And it's just a really cute silhouette. I actually haven't seen any other wetsuit designs like this one, so I definitely feel very unique when I'm out in the lineup. Okay, the next spring suit style is called LA Cheeky. This is the Yamamoto LA Cheeky in slate blue. It's a brand new addition to my collection as well with the updated logo. And there's also a little logo here on the wrist, but it's so comfortable. I love how it fits. As the name implies, it has a cheeky butt coverage. I really like this cut for early summer because it does give you quite a bit more warmth with the long arms, but it's still super cute with the high leg and the cheeky bottoms. So this one is definitely a fave and I am obsessed with this color. Okay, this is the OG LA Cheeky that Shane and I designed like five years ago. If you watched my UCSB YouTube videos from back in the day, you will recognize this one. This is the one I was wearing when I was surfing in my UCSB Day in the Life vlog. It's definitely a classic favorite for me. I remember being in the studio with Shane and we're trying to pick out what colors would go really well. And I loved the white combined with this like smoky gray. It's so fresh and unique. And despite it being a white fabric, it really is not that dirty when you think about how many times I wore this suit, especially in Santa Barbara where it's so common to get tar all over you when you surf. This one is very special to me because I've just had so many fun surf sessions while at school. Comment down below if you remember that video. <laughs> this LA Cheeky spring suit is just an everyday classic all black spring suit. This suit definitely makes me feel like a Bond girl. It's just really simple, easy to wear because it's all black. The cut and the silhouette is just perfect, so black really highlights that. This one is fairly recent. I think I got it like a year ago, but 
I am excited to get more uses out of it when the weather gets a bit warmer. This is a really fun one that's a few years old at this point. When we were designing colors for this one, I really wanted a suit that would pop against my summer tan. So I chose this bright peachy neon color combined with this royal darker blue and this is a color combination you don't really see together too often but that's what makes me love it so much it's definitely unique gives you a pop of color and since this is an earlier version of the la cheeky you'll notice that these aren't actually as cheeky as the ones that are out now so a bit fuller coverage but still very comfortable and flattering and this one's really fun so this one is the LA Cheeky with a turquoise body and gray arms. And I just really love these two colors together for a pop of beautiful color, especially in the summertime with the tan. So this spring suit is really similar to the UCSB spring suit with the white arms and the gray body. But this one just has a solid gray neoprene instead of that print. So it's a really simple and classic, just white and gray look. Okay, so this suit is really fun because I actually did a vlog a few years ago with Shane where we surfed in Huntington Beach and then we went to his studio and I showed the whole process behind getting my measurements, figuring out the cut of the suit, choosing the different fabrics and color combinations, and then I showed Shane sewing, cutting, and putting the suit together in real time, and then we took it out for a surf session. This bronze LA Cheeky has a smoothie material for the body, which actually helps to stop wind chill and it doesn't absorb any water, and it's super flattering on. This one's really fun because it has this tropical palm leaf pattern in this really pretty light, turquoisey teal color. I'm a huge fan of patterns, so whenever Shane gets new patterns in, I am all for incorporating those into my wetsuit. Okay, remember when I mentioned that Shane designs Halloween wetsuits? Every year when Shane asked me what I wanted as my Halloween costume, I could not come up with anything until one year I was like, duh, I have to be Katara from The Last Airbender. I've always wanted to be a waterbender. So I showed him my idea and this is what we came up with. And then I sourced the betrothal necklace from Etsy and this was so much fun. I haven't been able to come up with another fun Halloween costume since then, but this one is just epic. Okay, this next suit is a new style from the other ones. It's called the Betty Jane and it has long legs and these short arms. This suit is perfect for those California days when the water is still cold, but the air temperature is warm. I think this is a style suit that I wear probably the most often. Okay, next up is the Betty Jane in a blueberry color. I wear it for the same purposes. I just have it in a different color. And I love my full arm mobility when paddling. This one is a brand new addition to my collection. I'm really excited about it because it's the Betty Jane, but in solid black. So this is just a really wearable, everyday kind of suit. And once it starts to warm up a bit, in the spring months this is what i will be wearing every day when i go surfing this is the caramel 32 which is best for water temperatures ranging from 54 to 64 degrees so this is also a brand new addition to my collection i have not worn this in the water yet really cute nude brown almost like a golden brown in the winter months i personally like to go on surf trips to warm tropical destinations I just don't like cold water, but I do have quite a few full suits because in the winter you definitely need one to surf here. Anyway, this one's really classic and it will keep me warm if I choose to surf right now. It is still quite chilly in the water, probably anywhere from like 55 to 58 degrees on any given day, so definitely need a full suit. This one's really cute because it has the black detailing all over, so on the wrists, the knees, and the ankle bits. All right, all right, I squeezed into my next full suit. This is a 3-2 full suit in indigo. This is yet another full suit option to wear 
for the water right now. This is my next full suit. This is a black 3-3 full suit with smoothie arms and is a bit of a vintage piece. The smoothie material, like I mentioned earlier, is one of the warmest materials out there because it protects you from wind chill. I'm not sure if you guys will be able to see the texture with like the black color, but this fabric is different from this fabric, if that makes sense. All right, I have three more full suits to show you. I'm just going to be holding them out like this and talking to you guys about it. So this is probably my thickest, most warmest suit that I have in my entire collection. It's in the Merlot color with some black accents. You can see that really feminine curve here in the chest. And this one keeps you super warm, as I mentioned. I wore this one when I was going to college in Santa Barbara and it does get quite chilly over there. So this was the perfect full suit to keep me warm on those chilly winter surf sessions. This one is another full suit. This is a 3-2 with a black body and sequoia top. It's a really simple suit and it's a classic. And last but certainly not least is this very worn, kind of dirty um, full suit. This one actually has quite a bit of tar that's on it because this is another suit that I wore in Santa Barbara. But this one's really fun because it has a bunch of colors going on. It has a tan midsection, blue long legs, and then light blue for the sleeves. So it's a really fun suit. This one's actually a 3-2, so it's not as thick as my other ones, but definitely still keeps you warm. So that is it for my wetsuit collection. That was a lot of suits to try on for you guys, but it was really fun. As you can see, I have a suit for pretty much all the water temperatures that I could possibly be surfing in. I do have a cold water surf trip that I would like to do in the future just for a bucket list surf trip. I don't know if I will actually ever execute it, but I really want to surf in either Iceland or Alaska. And if I do a surf trip there, I'm gonna have to have Shane make me like a seven millimeter suit with like a hood, gloves, booties, the whole thing. So maybe one day, we'll see. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed my wetsuit collection video. Comment down below which suit is your personal favorite. And I'll also make sure to include all of Jonesy's information down below if you guys wanna order a suit for yourself. It's definitely a splurge, but just remember that it's a literal designer piece can be custom fit for your personal body shape, and it's handmade with love from a real surfer. So you really can't compare a factory wetsuit to a suit like that. So anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.